in the finals for one player. So making sure that you've taken just that extra little bit of time to make things uh, make sure things are nailed on. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, uh, of course, he's only taken a, a, you know a few minutes there. Whereas in in real football, for example, the teams get to a week to work on their tactics, which you think looking at them playing would only take you go there, you go there. But obviously, they work so much uh, sort of behind closed doors during the week before the weekend. We have now the start of the game after that slight delay due to the tactical changes. Uh, from Jose we are underway kicking from left to right is of course Jose playing as Liverpool and playing as PSG we have Maya Gekka, Spain versus Japan and it is Maya Gekka with the ball early on chance to play it in across the face Cavani with the header but it is cleared away so first real period of possession and pressure from Maya Gekka looking to be the man from Japan to take himself into the final on home soil but standing in his way uh, Jose from Spain who has had a really good performance so far in this Asia round as it's crossed in uh, almost uh, snuck all the way through but just on the edge of the six yard box it was cleared away all you missed Graham was a almost half a chance really for Maya Gekka uh, it's been a pretty close start from uh, you know, a bit pretty cagey other than that one chance in the opening 10 minutes uh, as the ball is played down this left-hand side. Chance to cross it into the danger area. No, he checks back and gives the ball away. We've seen that so many times so far today. The amount of times they've given the ball away in attacking positions. Is that a lack of quality in the final third or just the pressure? It could be uh, a little bit of both. I think the pressure will be a big thing. And we have the first goal. And it's Maya Gekka. It's really sloppy defending from Jose. And Maya Gekka with the fist pump. Jose feels... As you can see on his face, he's trying not to give too much away, uh, but he, he looks really unimpressed with himself after that defensive error. Exactly, and it was, we mentioned in the early hours of this morning when we were in the first part of the stream, Jose is a smiling guy, and, and when he's not smiling, you know that... I mean, that could be bad news for Maya Gekka. Perhaps he's just prodded the sleeping beast. Jose, we know, has the ability to attack, has the ability to come back from things, and he needs it now as... Uh, we can see from the replay they dink over the keeper that is absolutely sensational from Edison Cavani drew the goalkeeper in and then with the outside of the right boot just flick the ball over the top it's absolutely world class and there's nothing uh, Mbappe could have done to, but to put the ball into the back of the net it's a very easy finish from the Frenchman and of course uh, Maya Gekka now has that advantage and we have generally seen in the tournament so far and last year Jose generally plays better when he is in front he now finds himself behind the question is can he respond Graham well he's doing exactly that with one long ball over the top two Emre Chan didn't come off for him there but Jose as you've mentioned a lot of players tend to drop their heads when they go down not Jose we've seen it time and time again I mean even last year the regional finals that he won at one point he looked like he was dead set to go out of the groups but he managed to bring things back uh, and he needs to do that again now but if any player can then that is Jose and uh, he's looking to do things now but but he, he can't bring things back without the ball under possession and that's one thing that Maya Gekka is doing very very well he's keeping hold of the ball and breaking down attacks as we see Jose once again giving the ball straight back. Maya Gekka, if he can keep doing that, he could be 2-0 oh, up, lovely pass he's going to be now. Chance for two. It's world class from Maya Gekka. The 1-2 burst into the area. Goalkeeper came out to shut down the angle, but he just flicked it past him into the near post. Much like we were saying about uh, Sophia failing to do in the last game, reacting to the keeper's position, Maya Gekka has done it emphatically. First with that little flick over the top of the goalkeeper, you know, drew him in, saw his position and found Mbappe at the far post completely. I'm like, this time he saw the keeper come out and saw the angle was taken across, so he just tucked it in the near post, Graham. Yeah, absolutely phenomenal play. And the, the thing there was the pressure. Um, I was just saying how Jose was kind of it's his own worst enemy, trying to rush things, trying to push the ball forward too fast. And how quickly did, did the ball go from being on the halfway line into the back of the net? Two passes, two touches, and Maya Gekka finds himself two goals up. Jose has a lot to do now. Like we've mentioned, Jose has struggled when going behind in previous games and he finds himself 2-0 down. And, uh, well, at this stage in the game, a mountain to climb with just 21 minutes on the clock. His dream of a final here 
in Tokyo looks to be ebbing away much like the tide at West Wittering Beach on the south coast of England. <laughs> when, <laughs> I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> we one, do thing, lo- <laughs> uh, one thing to mention there, though, is Jose went into uh, the uh, formation screen and because, obviously, the quality and the understanding of these players, he changed something so rapidly, it looked like he dropped to a 4-4-2 formation. I can't confirm that. It was so quick. But clearly, he's feeling that his formation isn't aiding him uh, in the... Uh, 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 surviving the onslaught that is uh, Maya Gekka's attack so he's changed something and at this point in time things look to be working for him he's not rushing things he has a lot of uh, possession and the build up plays very well he's un- uh, outnumbered in the box though as his chance seems to have been squandered but that is better from Jose no rushing the game building up and making your passes mean something so we are just over halfway through the first Whoa! half oh, and deflection. we've got to go back into the match and that is why we love the game of PES 2018 because you just can't write what's going to happen just when it looked like uh, Maya Gekka was sailing to a half-time lead, a comfortable half-time lead. Jose with a, a slight smirk there. He knows he's a lucky, lucky boy because that shot was going absolutely nowhere near that corner. A massive deflection into... Uh, I mean, the goalkeeper with a hapless dive, a despairing dive as it just sunk into the bottom right-hand corner. Let's just take another look from close. Uh, and it's, ju- I mean, it's one of those, you know, luck from the gods there for, as far as Jose was concerned. Well, if anyone can, Emre can. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> G-Day. That is is appalling. I apologise to the viewers at home. <laughs> Do you know what? I actually uh, apologise for that one too. <laughs> uh, it's a chance for Mike Ecker to instantly respond, trying to look for that two-goal cushion again. Uh, half an hour gone here, and it's Angel Di Maria on the edge of the area. Twisting, turning, a uh, chance to play, and it's a really poor pass from Mike Ecker, and a chance to counter here again for Jose. We have said he struggled in recent days, uh, responding after going behind in these sort of situations, uh, but he has pulled a goal back somewhat fortuitously. Nevertheless, he is back well and truly in this match. And if he were to get a second goal before half-time, it could really turn. Oh. What a chip and a, a fingertip save sprawling towards the back post. Uh, he's really turning the screw, Graham. The audacity to even try a, a, a lobbed shot from that sort of area. I thought he was going to lay it off and drill the shot, but keeper did very well to get the fingertip to it. Absolute audacious attempt from Jose. Is that a sign of the confidence brewing? We said is he could be a sleeping beast, and he has another opportunity from oh, the in. corner, and oh, we are on square. He shouts to the crowd. He's got his second goal. Maya Gekka can't believe it. Goes straight for the water bottle because he knows he has let a massive lead slip. And mentally now, we've seen a two-goal sway in favour of Jose. A bit of luck in the first one. To some extent, a bit of luck in the second goal because it went straight at the goalkeeper and he just paneled it into the roof of the net. That's a really poor bit of goalkeeping, isn't it, Graham? Yeah, especially... But you managed to throw in the word paneled, which I don't think is a word. It but definitely <laughs> is a word. <laughs> in Pez League Live, it's a word. <laughs> we have invented it long ago and it's going to stand the test of time. Panelled into the net. Again, we saw a little bit of emotion though from Jose. He's been very calm so far in this semi-final. He's got his second goal. We're now seeing that fire, that, that belly coming out. The beast, of course, uh, similar to O'Neill uh, that we've seen obviously when he scores and comes back into that. It's that fire. They are very similar players in terms of how they respond to goals, aren't they? They are. And Jose back in the attack again. He has another opportunity. And with side netting so, Off so close. The people in the ground thought that was in and we're just getting a second chance to look at it and it's just the wrong side of the post the goalkeeper was beaten he was down on the deck the the near post was completely vacant and it's just gone a few inches wide of the target and Jose is looking for a third goal and what a turnaround we said what did I say Graham we said there was going to be goals and of course we have got goals here five minutes remaining in the first half of the second semi-final and we've got four goals split evenly uh, you just can't write it at this exactly. moment. Exactly. I think I think you said there's going to be goals. I said there could be it could be a five goal thriller, but I think that's not even going to sum it up. I think we're looking potentially six, seven goals ten, in this ten. Sort of game. <laughs> I will take a ten, <laughs> ten thriller. That would be a, an absolutely phenomenal game. But it is at this point in time. But one thing that is for certain is that Maya Gekka needs to get control of things because he. Oh, what a shell shot! Absolutely world class. Salah, from Jose. What a bit of skill from Mohamed Salah, the Egyptian talisman for Liverpool. It was absolutely incredible. 
Uh, a little low roulette there to evade the challenge. Drifted into the area. Uh, the shot was just blocked and it screwed across the place. And of course, we are left with a 2-2 scoreline. Uh, Two-goal cushion uh, blown away. Uh, of course, Jose coming back into the match after a really poor goalkeeping pandel yes. uh, at the end of that first half. <laughs> to be half. fair, as pandles go, that was a good pandle. <laughs> so, one minute into the second half, we're not going to get a breather. We're not going to get any tactics, any formation changes. Uh, both players happy with what they've seen. Uh, both fantastic going forward. A little bit to be desired at the other end, though, Graham. Defensively? Yeah, I mean, Maya Gekka looks... Uh, I mean, the word I used at the end of the first half was shell-shocked, and it, he appears to be the same then. I mean, Jose was charging forward with one player then. Maya Gekka had four players surrounding him, but still didn't put any pressure on the man in possession. Maya Gekka, to use the word again, shell-shocked. He needs to snap out of it. He needs to wake up. And the next goal could be absolutely vital. For Maya Gekka, that's the relief. And to just cool the fire that we've seen burning in Jose, whereas... Uh, if Jose was to get the next goal, that fire would just be ignited even further. So the, as we see, Maya Gekka now finally getting a little bit of uh, a build-up, probably at the, the first in the last 20 to 30 minutes of in-game play. But can he get an end product here? He had two goals very quick, very early on, little to show since then. But can it be now? I'm not going to let you get away with the cliche you just produced of the next goal is all crucial because, of course, <laughs> uh, that would be evident with half an hour remaining. The score at 2-2, a third goal for either of these two players would be incredibly crucial uh, as it's Maya Gekka who is in the ascendancy here in towards Neymar. Back to Cavani. Wonderful save down to the right-hand side by Carriers in that Liverpool goal uh, and Jose surviving there. So we've seen an amazing response from Jose to going 2-0 down. Uh, we've now seen a almost an even better uh performance and, and turnaround from Maya Gekka in terms of stabilising that ship. Yeah, I mean that ship uh, as you were talking about, that was sinking it was it was on the way down but Maya Gekka in that attack calmed things down shored things up and had a solid attempt on goal and to have the awareness as well to not snap at the shot in the box with Mbappe but to back heel the ball out to Cavani for an even better attempt obviously he didn't find the back of the net but just having the uh comfort in your own play to be able to play that ball but as I'm saying oh, that, it's a big chance talking talking now it's Jose. Jose. and he's got a third he's turned this game on its head Maya Gekka with his head in his hands Jose salutes the fans yet again the travelling support from Spain and that really is an incredible turnaround from Jose he broke down that right hand side again using the width that we mentioned so many times today width seems to be so key uh, we've only seen one game out of five uh, one goal out of five in this game not coming uh, from the wide areas and again that time the fifth goal of the game uh, coming from that wide area on the right hand side he was a little bit fortuitous again to get past that challenge bit sloppy there from Mike Ecker at the near post the guy who can't stop scoring this season Mohamed Salah tucking into uh, the near post uh, much to the despairing look of the goalkeeper who could do nothing about it as he flicks down to his left-hand side. He was already past him, flashed into the back of the net. Is he going to hold on now? He, I think he will, but the, the interesting thing is one thing that Jose doesn't tend to do is lock down a game player. So his ability to push forward and find another goal could be... His weakness. Uh, yes, exactly. Either that or it's just going to put extra nails in the coffin that Maya Gekka finds himself at this point in time. It's going to need a big character to pull one back. And this is look at what he's trying oh, to do. Well and pass. he does almost that. He's so unlucky. So unlucky. Wonderful one-touch football on the edge of the area uh, between Neymar, the Brazilian, and Cavani, the Uruguayan. And then the shot coming in from Neymar. Ricochets off the foot of the post. Goes all the way across the line. And no one is there to tap in. Like you mentioned... Jose is his worst enemy. He doesn't shut up shop ever. So we are definitely, you would have um, uh, watched it stay 3-2, but we were expecting <laughs> more goals in this game uh, as he's down the right-hand side. Plays it across. Uh, good defending, though. Uh, risky defending as he calmly plays it back towards the goalkeeper. Uh, 20 minutes, including stoppage time remaining. Uh, and, of course, Jose has the ball on the halfway line. Yeah, you mentioned there, Jose doesn't shut up shop, which is perfect what we want from a viewing audience that means that the, this game is potentially going to be exciting until the very last kick of the game Maya Gekka definitely isn't out he's down at this point in time he needs that goal and he's going to be searching for it but Jose is going to bring on that pressure and he's going to look to strike on the counter as he's doing here now as he's on the wing with Salah the goal scorer but Marquinhos intercepts and Maya Gekka with Mbappe now his players are a little deep, so he's going to have to build up slowly here to get that goal, but not with passes like that. Now, 
we haven't seen any changes, which is surprising, Graham. Uh, we're now ticking into the final 10 minutes, and neither player has made any substitutions, any form formation changes after a few a few formation tweaks in the first half. Are you surprised by that? Um, I think that's just with the nature of the game and few breaks in play. I think the next time the ball goes out, we will definitely see some sort of substitutions. I think Maya Gekka himself will be looking to refresh the players that he has on the pitch. Of Obviously, course, Jose won't want the ball to go out of play then, will he? Exactly. He, he will want to see things out for him. This game is exactly how he wants it to go. He can, he can just keep hold of the ball, a bit of possession now. I mean, he doesn't lock things down in terms of sticking all these men behind the ball, but he'll be happy to hold on to the possession and build up his um, attacks slowly. One thing just to mention is, obviously, with stats balancing, uh, Mayagekka can afford to uh, take Neymar and go off the pitch because he doesn't necessarily weaken his team by doing so, but he's in attack at this point in time. Not anymore. Of the so we have right two there. minutes remaining here. Do we have one last chance for the man on home soil? The Japanese Maya Gekka finds himself 3 2 down after leading by two goals to nil. Here's the chance, though, into the area, turning away from the challenge, but he just got a stud to the ball. And Jose will now look to keep possession. Uh, no minutes have added on time, That's which surprises it. me. And it has finished. And Jose is in Boom. to the final of the Asia round of the World Tour. 